using a C++ program uh, to initialize an object using a default constructor. Uh, to begin with, uh, let us start Turbo C++. Now I will be beginning uh, with a new file. Uh, in order to maximize the screen, I need to press F5. Here I will be writing a single line command uh, to show initialization of an object using default constructor. So now uh, to begin with, I will be including uh, two header files that is hash include iostream.h and then uh, followed by hash include uh, kony.h and uh, here I will be starting with a class name called as x within which I will be having two access specifiers uh, that is integer, I mean uh, private and then public so in the private part I'll be having data mem two data members that is a comma b and in the public uh, I'll be having the member function called as x so but x is a special member function why because it is a constructor because the member function name and the class name both are same so therefore it is a constructor here I initialize uh, the value of a to 10 and I'll be initializing the value of b is equal to 20. So these are the two values. Uh, these are the two values um, that uh, we enter and I'll be having uh, one more uh, member function called as a display to display the values of a and b. So within this I'll be displaying the value of a and again I'll be using set width set width of 5 and then I'll be displaying the value of B and then I'll be introducing one more uh, end element so I'll be giving a blank line over there so now so that's it with respect to the uh, class I'll be closing the class now I need to in the void main I need to declare an object and then use that object uh, to call the constructor as well as the member function so first in order to define an object I have to write the class name first here obj1 is one of the object and obj2 is the next object here when I say obj1 dot display so as soon as here one important point that you need to understand is as soon as I execute this particular line the constructor x is, call, x is called and uh, 10 and 20 the value of a and b uh, is assigned to both object 1 and object 2 so now what we do we display the value of obj2 dot display so now of course I have used uh, set width so therefore I need to uh, use one more header file and uh, that header file is iomanip dot h that is ash include iomanip dot h so now I will be using a clear screen over here. Of course clear screen is defined in Kony.h and here I will be using getch. And then I will be closing this. Now uh, let me save this particular file. I will be saying construct or const. Now we can give any name. So I will give uh, the file name as con. So okay. Uh, I will be saving this particular file as con ok the con uh, already uh, it has I cannot save the file in uh, con here uh, con s1 I will be saving this file as in this manner now I will say control f9 now you can see that the the first output is object 1 it is 10 and 20 and uh, for the second object object 2 it's again 10 and 20 this is how uh, you will execute the C++ program 
and you will initialize an object uh, using a default constructor. Why we call it as a default constructor? Well, because we don't pass any argument within this constructor value. This is how you will implement or initialize an object using default constructor. Thank you.